For this pre-intro cold open, I want to do something I've never done before. So I'm working on this video. It's all about why do people like popping pimples or why do people like to pop pimples? I'm not exactly sure what the title is going to be, but I believe it will be coming out this week. It's pretty much done and I really, I really like it a lot guys. I think it's a really good one. I see, I saw a lot of people in the comments last Monday on this video, on this channel. If you commented on this video already, what's the future like? What's, how, how do you time travel, please? That they're not gonna watch that video because it's gross and they don't like pimple popping. It's, ew. Well, there's nothing gross in the video. I, except for, you know, some things that I maybe describe, but I try to code it in happy music and happy video. It's in, in fact one of the jokes in the video that I'm just countering the gross with the cute and happy. So if you're worried about being grossed out, there will be nothing visual that will gross you out in the video, except for my face. And then it's on to my next video, which I think is going to be about gift giving, about giving gifts that don't cost anything or gifts that maybe, you know, technically cost a little, but are, you know, they're alternative type of gifts, like donating to a charity in someone's name or making something for someone. I think that's gonna be my next video. I think so. But I have lots of, the idea list is growing, guys. It's weird, I always go through these phases, and I think anyone, any creative person goes through these phases where you think, all ideas have been done already. What's the point in doing anything? No need to invent new stuff. No need to write new songs, write new books. Every story's been told. Every invention's been invented. People have been thinking that for hundreds of years. Think about that. People have been thinking that for hundreds of years, yet we keep making new things all the time. True, I believe that every story has basically been told, but yet they haven't and there's nothing new under the sun, yet at the same time, everything is new also. I keep thinking, well, you can't make a new type of movie. All, all, every genre has been covered, and yet every year there's 10 to 20 movies that I want to see or have seen and love. I've made how many videos now on the main channel? 1,741, including unlisted videos and maybe live stream things. And, I've oft and I often think, well, I've told every joke, I've done every possible thing, and yet now when I've changed it up and I've decided to do these more long form things, and I watch other people's long form things and I see, well, it's all been done. I, I think, oh, it's all been done already, yet ideas start to come to me and I'm making this list of things that I think would be great. And I have, I have several new ideas now that I'm very excited about, which I didn't think was possible, I don't know, several months ago. And yet, if you really think about all these new ideas, you could probably find a video or several out there that do similar things, yet they're not exactly the same, or I have a new take on it. But the important thing is I'm excited about doing them. And I really think that is what it comes down to. When you think that there's nothing new, every idea has been taken, it's not really uh, about facts. It's about your mood. It's about, uh, it's about what you're excited about making. It's not necessarily about, is it new? I think maybe we conflate the idea of newness and originality with excitement within ourselves. You know what I mean? I, what I'm saying is like if someone says, oh, there's nothing new, there's no new ideas, it's all been taken. It's really just a way of expressing, I'm not happy with my ideas. Because I think you can say there's nothing new under the sun at any given moment in human history. And at the same time, you can make things that are new ish with elements of things that have been done before. And I don't know how to avoid the idea of not being excited about your ideas. I think that's just part of the process. You're always gonna go through moods, but you have to recognize that it's a mood that can end, that will have an end point if you allow it to. And then you'll have a mood where you're excited about a new thing and it's important to jump on that excitement and use it. It also helps sometimes to have a routine to, to be in the habit of making things no matter what your mood is. Like, for instance, these regular Monday videos. I enjoy making them, but the fact that it's regular and I say to myself, every Monday I'm gonna have a video regardless of how I feel, I think that helps keep the juices flowing, you know what I mean? Plus the every weekday vlog I'm doing for patrons on Patreon. I'm doing these videos to stay in contact with you while I work on bigger projects, but I'm also doing it for me to make sure that I stay creative. And it helps me assess what I'm what I'm doing, what I'm making. In other news, I've been I started watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, finally. It's a show on Amazon Prime about 
a uh, woman whose husband uh, leaves her and then she finds herself accidentally becoming a stand-up comedian. And then it's like trying to build that career as well as all of the storylines with her family. And uh, it's it's created by Amy, Amy Sherman Palladino, who did Gilmore Girls, which took, uh, took me a little while to warm up to, but I started to really like Gilmore Girls. This I immediately loved. This show is brilliant. It, it is, oh my God, guys, it's really good. The hype that you hear, it's real. It's true. Maybe it's not your thing. Maybe a comedy about a family set in the 50s, but I think it's undeniably a, a masterpiece for Amy Sherman Palladino. It's like the, the, the cinematography, the set design, the acting, the writing, the music, the story, it's all pristine. It's really, really well done. So those are my Monday thoughts. If you want to get these kinds of videos every weekday, I do the a secret vlog over on Patreon. That'll be on the screen here somewhere. Maybe on my face this time. Let's put it on my face. And look out for that pimple popping video that will not be gross. And I will see you next Monday. Or you'll see me on Patreon. Or you'll see my new video on the main channel. Or maybe you'll swear off YouTube forever right at this point And never hear from me again. Whatever you want to do, bro or sis.